Hello guys and in this video we are going to discuss about attributes and properties in HTML. Basically lot many people think that properties and attributes are one and the same thing and it's perfectly fine to make changes to any one of them whenever required. But guys this is not actually the case. Properties and attributes are two different things in HTML and you should know how these two things vary or uh, at least where to make the change whenever required. So uh, for this video I have only this HTML file which contains an input element and this all input function uh, that logs this raised event. If we have a look on our browser this is how it looks like. So uh, guys basically when you write any HTML element in your HTML file you provide few things to it inside the opening tag. right? like in this case I have given this value field, I have given this type field and finally I have this on change field in the opening tag of this input element. These are the things that we call attributes in HTML and these are the things that tell the browser about the behavior of this input element. Right. So what are properties and where do they come from? Basically guys what happens is when your browser gets your HTML file it starts making a tree like structure of that file right from the top of that so right from the first node on your file it starts parsing the file downwards and whenever it finds an input element it goes on making a tree out of it so that is what we call DOM or document object model right so for any uh, input uh, element or for any HTML element the browser basically contains a node or an object and provides uh, properties to it so this is the place where properties come into this stand, right? We are going to see this on browser now. So before that, you, I want you to notice that this is the initial value string that I have given to the input element right here, initial value, right? Please note this, this is important. So if you see in my browser, I can see this initial value written inside this input element. So they, basically that is coming from the value field that I provided. Now if I change it to say changed values, right, uh, let's make it changed values. Okay, so I have changed the text from in, uh, initial values to change values and now when I blur it, I should get this event right here because I have consoled that. And inside every event you can look for a target property which gives you the element that has raised this event. So basically now okay this is the input element. So when I hover over this you can see that my input element gets hover. So inside this target element if you see there are lot many properties. So these are the properties that I was talking about. These properties are created by the browser when browser parsed this input element. So there are lot many of them. Accept, access key, align, occult and right till the bottom uh, till this will validate thing. These are all the properties created by or provided by the browser to this input field. And where can we find our attributes? What about them? Basically inside uh, the same input element along with all these properties you will find one property that will call that is called attributes. Right. So this attributes property contain those three things which we provided at the start of our HTML. So basically we provided a value, a type and the on change and these three things are mapped here. If you provide any more of them, those also get mapped right inside this attributes property. So guys, this is uh, this is how attributes and properties differ from each other. Right. And now if you see this value property or sorry value attribute, this is uh, you will see that it contains the value initial value which was given by me at the start of my HTML. When I wrote the HTML, I gave this initial value, right? And uh, my value property contains right here if you see changed values. So this is what my input box currently contains. Now this is more clear that properties and values differ. Basically the value attribute uh, contains the initial value and value property contains the change value so they are not the same thing if you make any change to the browser state here in the input box it will be reflected only in the value property and not in the value attribute 
the value attribute is always going to be the same uh, that is initial value and this is what i provided at the start of my application right so basically guys uh, uh, this uh, the, the, the thing is not uh, so simple yet what happens is the browser makes a whole lot bunch of properties right many of them are mapped out of your attribute so the value property the type property and the on change property uh, we gave at the start of the application and out of those value property or value attribute differ from each other because they are not one to one mapped while um, the other one if you see uh, the type thing if you if you look for this type thing it contains the value text while the property type also contains the value this text right here so these are basically mapped to each other this type property is mapped to the uh, this types value property so if you make change to any one of them the change also gets reflected to the other one so this is how sometime when you make change to one of the properties or attribute uh, we get the change reflected in the other one and our application still works so this is fine for those cases but remember there are few attributes and properties which have the same name but they are not mapped one to one like the uh, example of value property and value attribute that we saw right here so guys this is what i wanted to discuss in this video i wanted to show you how you can make change specifically to attributes or properties now if you want to make change to the value attribute you need to make change in the manner uh, e dot target dot attributes dot value right you need to change it in this way and if you want to change any properties you can directly change it on your on your input element itself right here you can change it inside target dot property name you can change it that way uh, so guys this was a quick discussion that i wanted to have with you i hope uh, you got the difference between what the attributes and what the properties are in html and if you like the video please hit like and subscribe for many more such videos thank you guys